Chapter 1 To suspend fighting on hearing the Adhan Narrated Anas ibn Malik May Allah be pleased with him Whenever the Prophet peace be upon him went out with us to fight in Allah's cause against any nation he never allowed us to attack till morning and he would wait and see if he heard Adhan he would postpone the attack and if he did not hear Adhan he would attack them Anas added we reached Khaybar at night and in the morning when he did not hear the Adhan for the prayer, he, the Prophet peace be upon him, rode and I rode behind Aba Talha and my foot was touching that of the Prophet peace be upon him. The inhabitants of Khaybar came out with their baskets and spades and when they saw the Prophet peace be upon him, they shouted, Muhammad, by Allah, Muhammad and his army. When Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, saw them, he said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Khaybar is ruined. Whenever we approach a hostile nation to fight, then evil will be the mourning of those who have been warned. Chapter 1 What to say on hearing the Adhan Narrated Aba Sa'id al-Khudari May Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Narrated Yahya as above, number 586, and added, Some of my companions told me that Hisham had said, When the Mu'adhin said, Hayya ala salah, come for the prayer, Mu'awiyah said, La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. There is neither might nor any power except with Allah. And added, We heard your Prophet, peace be upon him, saying the same. Chapter 1 Invocation at the time of Adhan Narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah May Allah be pleased with both of them Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said Whoever after listening to the Adhan says Allahumma rabba hadihi da'wati tamma Was salati al-qa'ima Ati Muhammadan al-wasila wal fadila Wabaathhu maqaman mahmoodan al-ladhi wa'ata O Allah Lord of this perfect call of not ascribing partners to you and of the regular salah prayer which is going to be established kindly give Muhammad peace be upon him al-wasila highest position in paradise and al-fadila extra degree of honor and raise him to maqam mahmud a station of praise and glory, i.e., the honor of intercession, al-shafa'atul kubra, on the day of resurrection, which you have promised him, then intercession for me will be permitted for him on the day of resurrection. Chapter 1 To draw lots for pronouncing the Adhan and it is said that some people differed regarding the pronunciation of Adhan, i.e., who should pronounce the Adhan. So Sa'ad drew lots amongst them. Narrated Aba Huraira, May Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, If the people knew the reward for pronouncing the Adhan and for standing in the first row in congregational salah, prayers, and found no other way to get that except by drawing lots, they would draw lots. And if they knew the reward of the Dhuhr prayer in the early moments of its stated time, they would raise for it, go early. And if they knew the reward of Aisha and Fajr, early morning prayers in congregation, they would come to offer them even if they had to crawl. Chapter 1 Talking During the Adhan Sulaiman ibn Surad talked while pronouncing Adhan. Al-Hasan said, There is no harm if the Mu'adhin laughs while pronouncing the Adhan or Iqama. Narrated Abdullah ibn al-Harith, Once on a rainy muddy day, Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with both of them, delivered a khutbah, religious talk, in our precincts, and when the Mu'adhin pronounced the Adhan and was going to say, Hayya ala salah come for the prayer, Ibn Abbas ordered him to say, Offer a salah the prayers, at your homes. The people began to look at each other surprisingly. Ibn Abbas said, 
It was done by one who was much better than I, i.e. the Prophet peace be upon him or his Mu'adhin, and it is a license. Chapter 1 the Adhan, pronounced by a blind man, is permissible when there is a person to inform him about the time of the Salah prayer. Narrated Salim ibn Abdullah, my father said that Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Bilal pronounces Adhan at night, so keep on eating and drinking suhoor till Ibn Ummi Maktoum pronounces Adhan, Salim added. He was a blind man who would not pronounce the Adhan unless he was told that the day had dawned. Chapter 1 The Adhan after Al-Fajr Dawn Narrated Hafsa May Allah be pleased with her when the Mu'adhin pronounced the Adhan for Fajr prayer and the dawn became evident, the Prophet peace be upon him would offer a two rak'ah light prayer sunnah before the iqama of the compulsory congregational salah prayer. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. The Prophet peace be upon him used to offer two light rak'ah between the Adhan and the iqama of the early morning Fajr prayer. Narrated Abdullah ibn Umar, May Allah be pleased with both of them. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Bilal pronounces the Adhan at night, so keep on eating and drinking suhoor till Ibn Ummi Maktoum pronounces the Adhan.